Good morning. This week in Block News, Gutenberg's inbuilt theme exporter, a first look at the new block locking UI coming to Core Gutenberg, a glimpse of a possible future navigation block improvement, the Block Museum is launched, my review roasting of the week, and finally a look at my block theme of the week, Skate Park by Automatic. Let's get newsy. Time for Block News. It's news about blocks. In the latest nightly build of Gutenberg, you can now export your designs as a theme essentially. So you can create your theme using Gutenberg on your website, export it out, and then re-import that to other sites. This has profound implications, which I'm going to deal with with another video. But let me show you how this works. It's very cool. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a couple of changes to this design of this site using Gutenberg. I'm just going to change some of the styles here, some of the colors. I'm going to change the background color to orange and save it. Now, I could change lots of other stuff as well, but that's all I'm going to change today. I could change the page templates and stuff like that. But up here on the right now, if I click on these three dots, we'll see this export option, which we've had before. Uh, but now it basically lets you export this as a theme. So it's going to download it down here. Let me just show you here what's inside here. And if I uh, unlock this, open up this zip file, we'll see now we've actually got some of the constituent parts that we need to actually create this as a theme. So you can design your websites using basically Gutenberg and a website and then export those to a brand new theme. And all I need to do to make this work is change a few things. So I, I might just change things like in the style.css. Uh, Let's just open this up and change the theme name. Let's call this Jamie, <laughs> a narcissistic name. Um, I'm also going to, when I unzip this, in fact, let's let's all just also add a screenshot to this as well. It'd be quite nice to have a screenshot in my finished theme. I'm not taking much care and attention over this, so let's just lump that in there, just in the root. And as long as I call that screenshot, then that should be the thumbnail. So I call that screenshot. And then the only other thing to do is when I rezip it, <coughs> I want to call it Jamie as well. So I'm going to rename it here. Let's call that Jamie and I'm going to zip that back up. Let's compress that. You see how quickly you can build your own themes now. And if I upload that to my site, it should actually work as a brand new theme, which is profoundly brilliant. Now we're right at the start of this, but this has huge profound implications where this is going to head up in my view which I'm going to deal with with a separate issue there's my new theme I'm going to activate it there's my little uh, thumbnail go and visit the website boom there we go there's my new theme how cool is that if you want to have a go at building your own theme then I have built a test website for you with the latest nightly build of Gutenberg installed ready for you it's in the link in the description below just click on that link and it will automatically fire you up a brand new website that you can play on up on your screens right now, you can see a first look at the locking mechanism that's coming to core Gutenberg. So you won't need any plugins for this. And this is a very first look, but it looks really, really elegant to me. So you can see on the screen that as a user or an administrator, you're going to be able to lock certain blocks and the functionality of what those blocks can do or what the users can do on those blocks. I'll keep you updated on this as it develops. Also last week, we got a first look at the possible improvements to the navigation block. The navigation block wasn't really quite ready when it was released in 5.9. There were a few things missing from it. And Dave, who's one of the core contributors, has a channel on YouTube, which I'll link to in the description below, where he highlights some of the latest things they're working on. One of the key things about the possible improvements of the navigation block, which I am going to cover in another video, is this ability that it has its own sort of navigation system over on the right and you can manage multiple menus over there because that's one of the things you can't currently do with the current menu system. You can't also also have a mobile menu and a desktop menu on the current mobile system. And I think, you know, things like mega menus would also be completely awesome uh, for the menu for the navigation block as well. But this is kind of an example of what it might look like. It looks pretty nice to me. We're at the early stages. Again, I'll keep you updated on how this one goes as well. Also launched recently was the Museum of Block Art, which is a really, really cool idea as far as I'm concerned. Uh, so it's all artwork that's being produced using the block editor. So I'll put a link in the description below, but it's block-museum.com. You can just go into that and you can see some of the pieces that people have basically built using the block editor. So you, you see the artwork as well, but you can also go to it and you can actually get some more details and you can also see the code they've actually used to build it, which is really cool. So you'll learn something as well as being enthused by the beauty of the art that we people are producing. 
I'm probably going to submit one of my pieces in the next few days as well, so look out for that. So last week we had a negative review of Gutenberg, but actually all the latest reviews have been entirely positive. So this week we've got a positive review, and by the magic of AI, this week it's read by Jeremy Clarkson, who lives just down the road from me. Playing around with a theme and Gutenberg is rather amazing. We need more controls, natively negative margin, better group sizing, and the navigation block needs improvements. Drop down menu in a footer should be a drop up menu. Keep up the good work. And then finally, a look at my block theme of the week. This week is Skate Park by Automatic. It's a relatively new theme. It's only been downloaded a hundred times. It's getting some good reviews. I really like it. Again, it's a nice clean block theme. It's only 641 kilobytes, so it's tiny, very, very fast. This is what it looks like. So it's got some really nice, as we're seeing a lot of block themes these days, they have they have similar sorts of layouts at the moment. Very clean, lots of, lots of I was gonna say white space, but lots of space around the text to let things breathe. I really, really love the design. It comes with uh, some nice block patterns as well. Um, let me show you the patterns it comes with. So if we go to um, here and then go to Skate Park, these are the block patterns it comes with. So these are pre-designed layouts that you can just drop into your pages like I'm doing here to build out your pages very, very quickly. They're just using core blocks, which again, I'm a big fan of, no plugins needed at all. And it also comes with a whole bunch of nice page templates in the site editor so you can design these pages and change these pages any way you like. So that's it for this week's block news. If you want to see block news every week, hit that subscribe button now and you'll be notified every time I release a new news update, which is going to be weekly on Fridays. Also, if you like this video, if you can hit the like button now, that would be amazing because it really, really helps spread the word of the channel to more people. Also, every time you do hit that like button, our cats get a little treat. So thank you so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button to see more videos like this because I'm approaching 100 Gutenberg videos now. Keep well and I'll see you soon.